while applying slag sand plaster on brick wall and ceiling. Through this video, we will demonstrate how to reduce rebound loss while applying slag sand plaster on brick wall and ceiling. First, prepare the surface for plaster. Preparing the surface helps in increasing of bonding of plaster with the brick wall and ceiling. For brickwork, clean the surface and check for any loose bricks. Rack the joints and reseal the junctions for better grip on the plaster mortar. For roof or concrete, wall hacking should be done immediately after deshattering to enable better bonding with plaster mortar. Also ensure the ceiling surface is free from oil stains to avoid debonding of plaster. To ensure better bonding between surface and plaster, proper wetting of the surface must be done one day prior to the plaster application. Next step would be to prepare the mortar for plastering. Measure the required quantity of raw material, cement, slag sand and water. For brick wall plaster, use ratio of 1 is to 4 of cement and slag sand. And for ceiling plaster, use ratio of 1 is to 3 of cement and slag sand. Take measured slag sand, cement and use optimum water to make a cohesive mix. This mix should be consumed within 2 hours. Use a steel tray or a clean dry cemented surface for mixing. Mix thoroughly to make dry mortar mix and keep it aside for 20 to 25 minutes. Mix it again to make the mortar homogeneous. Add water by maintaining optimum water cement ratio to make cohesive mix. Water quantity must be adjusted to achieve the perfect consistency and a homogeneous mix. Now apply mortar on pre-surface dressed wall. Thickness of plaster should not exceed 18 mm. In applications which require more than 18 mm of plaster, do plastering work in two separate layers. Avoid the use of dry neat cement on plaster. Dry neat cement on plaster will lead to cracks. Appropriate curing at the entry stage will provide better strength and more durability to the finished plaster. Demonstration of how to do curing of plaster. Curing is essential to achieve better plaster bonding and a crack-free plaster surface. Curing of plaster should start 24 hours later. This may vary according to ambient temperature. Sprinkle water across the whole plastered surface for curing. Ensure you cover all corners and edges. Curing to be carried out for at least 10 to 14 days on a plaster surface. Curing compound can also be used to cure the plaster surface. To cure the plaster with curing compound, sprinkle the curing compound as per guidelines prescribed by manufacturer. Always remember to wear safety glasses while sprinkling curing compound on plaster surface.